My Life with Kinako in Niigata in fall 2021. Remember, I went back home at this same exact time last year, and the scenery was wonderful. This time, though, the autumn leaf season is almost over. The color of the mountains is changing dark from colorful gradation. Albeit, this feels also good on the other hand. The winter season is just around the corner. In the last few years, I tried to have some new experiences with my family whenever I came back. And this time, I would like to go to the Senbei Okoku in Niigata City for a one of a kind circumstance to make your very own rice cracker snacks. As one of Japan's major rice producing prefectures, Niigata is renowned for its rice, sake, and rice crackers called Senbei. The scenery changes as I approach Niigata City, the prefectural capital city of Niigata. Fruit trees can be seen here and there. Let's stop by a rest spot, Niigata Furusata Mura, one of the biggest and famous road stations in this area. I want to check if they have any kinako which I might not have had possessed. There should be at least one kind of kinako as there are so many local special products and souvenirs. Variety of mini rice crackers, interesting flavors. I don't see kinako. This should be upside down. Although we tried to look anywhere, we couldn't find any kinako. Can't believe it! I hope they offer some before the New Year's season when people eat mochi with kinako. Alright, we came into that kingdom. Wow, it turned out to be such a simple place.、Uh, let's go! I decided to have an experience sprinkling my favorite flavored powders on the rice crackers because I want to know the secret of how the flavored powder is well coated on the rice cracker. I used to experiment that with kinako powder, but I couldn't get the same exact result. You can sprinkle up to six flavors of your choice on the unglazed rice crackers here. The instructor said she heated them up with the microwave a bit so the powder can be coated well. Oh, I think I got what I wanted already. The method is simple put rice crackers in six containers, put each flavor you like, and shake the container. A spoonful powder is enough, she says. Well, such a simple experience this time. But wait, it's worth the time spent. Let's eat them at home. Going back to the countryside. Because regional cities are a car society, there are few people walking outside. I feel the time flew slowly and endlessly. It's time for dinner. We have a little celebration today, so I put on a kinako as usual. Kinako that I brought from Tokyo. 
I can't give them a package of kinako as I collected, so I brought it in a plastic bag. I'm going to put it next to the locally made castella, a Japanese sponge cake. I wanted them to taste different type of kinako, so I brought two types this time. One is mild and the other is savory. Then senbei time. While eating, we guess what flavor is coated on the rice cracker. If you don't know the name of the flavor, you won't know what the taste is at all. When I sprinkle kinako, the taste becomes creamy. My mom likes it. Thanks to kinako, now we have more opportunity to talk. This is also the power of Kinako, which I really appreciate. Hope you have a great time with Kinako with your loved ones. Thank you for watching. See you!